Good morning. We are taking a live look right now out over our Pompey camera. You may notice some of those high, thin, wispy cirrus clouds up in the sky. So that's kind of foreshadowing just a couple of showers that will try and work our way later on this evening. We still have that dry wedge with the high pressure over us, which is keeping us dry. Uh, this guy's not going to do anything for us, but it's this front right here. We have a little disturbance that will move just out of uh, parts of Alberta and Ontario that will move over us later on tonight. That could give us just a couple couple of showers. Why have things not really changed a whole lot? Well, we have what's called a Greenland block, an area of high pressure over Greenland that has not moved. And so therefore, we have these two lows that haven't moved. By the end of the week, though, then it'll start to move a little bit, and that's what's going to give us some rain showers by the end of the weekend. So we're still dry, which is still means that we still have that enhanced fire danger. Remember, there is a burn ban until mid-May, so please be careful about that. It's so dry, and also the little bit of wind. And we are going to be warming up even more so tomorrow in the 60s and then 70s on Thursday, and then we'll finally get some beneficial rain in here. A couple of showers by Friday, most of the rain holding off, though, until Sunday. Your day planner for the rest of the Day, though temperatures topping off around 60 by this afternoon, giving us a pretty nice afternoon and keeping it quiet through at least the first half of the evening. A great day to go golfing, which is what we're looking at over Route 31 on the golf course from Liverpool Pool and Spa at our Drivers Village Sky at 9 camera. It's currently 55 degrees. There's not that much of a wind today, also, which is good because that means it'll still be a little cooler closer towards the lake shore off Oswego, but not like how it was yesterday. And our high temperatures peaking around 60 degrees, and that will feel very, very pleasant. We have nothing on live Doppler 9, but overnight, though, we will watch out for a couple of showers, those clouds beginning to thicken up later on this afternoon into the early evening. And eventually, we do get some of this rain in here, especially for parts of the Finger Lakes. It will be up at out of here though tomorrow morning we get that sunshine back even warmer tomorrow almost everyone is in the 60s to possibly even close to 70 degrees so let's time out these showers for this evening so beginning as early as midnight lasting through very early tomorrow morning when you're waking up and watching Dan and I on the morning news tomorrow I'll be showing you some showers on live Doppler 9 but little to no impact out of this after sunrise they begin to taper off and then we're ending our day mostly sunny and we should have a very very pleasant afternoon and then we'll remain on the warmer side with the wind coming from the south on Thursday, that's going to help get us into the 70s at that point. Now, we do run the risk of showers on Friday. Not a lot. There's going to be plenty of dry time. In fact, Friday will be a tad rainier than Saturday. Saturday, lots of dry time to enjoy. But Sunday is going to be quite rainy out of the weekend. Saturday looks to be better than Sunday with showers lingering into Monday. All right, the